to threes until planes until now. So yeah, he's gonna have the hex flash jumped on top of them. They will get the knock up and the CC down. The first blood goes over to the Rakan and BDS are on the board. Lebrov and Sheo comboing together again. They were fantastic yesterday as well, working together to make a play happen. Aja no flash this time. So can't really look to engage. Whoa, Junja looking a bit aggressive there and gonna take a lot of damage. And they shot on the backside. Wacko looking to take out new. Good flash away from the Shrima ultimate. And now he's taking out new. The ultimate from the Maokai keeps everybody in place. And a double kill for Wacko as the Scion is now dead. Sheo running for his life. It's looking like it's going to be an ace. Not quite, though, as you can see that the Sejuani should be up. No, he's been caught. And there it is. Ace five for none. PSG. They were just as bored as we were. <laughs> Wacko had enough of this slow gameplay. Just goes in on his own and breaks the ankles of BDS. In trouble. Oh, Maple. Blue suede shoes. Just with the quick step. Yeah, the back step there, baiting the ult out of Nuke, finds that kill, and that might be game, honestly. There are neutral objectives, not for two minutes, and they have open inhibitors in mid and bot. They might just try and walk in here. Sheo and Adam, or Adam now gets caught. He's gonna try and have to run away from this one here. I don't think he's got the health bar. He does not, he's fallen. And the rest should fall with him. They haven't got a mini wave just yet on that second tower, so they have to wait a little bit longer. Adam trying his absolute best, but the towers have gone down. The turrets Whoa. are dead. The slicing maelstrom is just perfect. And they're gonna be able Waco. to kill the crowd. <laughs> Wacko goes wacky, but it won't change the result. He gets shut down. It's a nice little reprieve there for BDS and Crowny, but at the end of it all, PSG, they look comfortable. And just trying to build that confidence back. Yeah, you gotta find your... He's a little bit of a taxi there, flash away by Crowny. As he finally gets the Ren coming in, Wacko getting a fair bit of damage put into him as the stones are chucked into the back of his head. Oh, Clans! Oh, the Lollipop! Oh, it actually brings him to his doom! Yeah, I was gonna say, Maple's already moving down, so there's not really much you can do about that. They're gonna be able to get the flick back nicely done, but Sheo has no flash, he's nowhere to go! And that's gonna be an easy kill to Maple Sheo! Oh boy. That's just not where you need to be. You just need to see that they're taking it. What? You still don't have a flash and you were hit by an E. So now he's gonna get scattered the weak coming in. This, oh, the perfect execution does end up killing him off right there at the end. Nuke no has flash. no flash. And is he gonna get stunned in there? There's gonna be the shattering strike. And Woody says, they're coming out and they just kind of make play after play oh, no. after play. And there's just nothing you can do. You suffocate them out as Maple gets another kill and desperation in the bot side. They had to throw out the Nautilus ult just to make sure Labrov didn't die. Oh my. Anyone can jump on him and kill him. I mean, just like that, a flash forward and a bonk on the head. Imagine if he had a real weapon. And now Aja, he's going to try and jump over the wall, but he's just a little bit too far away. Junja going to take away the second dragon of the game for PSG, but it's getting be not bonked away just yet to get jumped on for the moment. They are trying to see if they can catch up the Sheo. And if Sheo goes down, you don't have any contest whatsoever. He gets ignited. No look. Ignite from Woody. And now he can really pick the target. Oh Crowny God. is not allowed to play the game. PSG have not only killed BDS, they're burying them as we speak. They're giving a memorial as they play, or they'll just let them end it. There we go. They're going to look for it. There's the knock up. They're only right back onto their base. They're going to use the Talia wall, but Adam dies for only the second time through the wall. The turret goes down. They do get the fates called down on top of Aja, but he is just too damn tanky. Sheo comes back onto his fountain to survive. One Nexus away from qualifying. And caught out a little bit there. You can see Adam just trying to go for something. Flash oh, forward. No. He got the shield down, but the first blood still goes over to the side of Aja. Sheo needs to flash forward. That means he's already condemned himself to death. He knows he has everyone else on the side of PSG coming up, so he'll donate that one over to Junja. The two for one for PSG in the top side. I thought it was maybe going to go wrong after the flash. W missed from Aja, but they had enough damage still to finish Adam off. That's one of the scariest things. Just destroying this turret. Now we have Shale finding an angle, maybe. Maybe looking for Woody, who does have the gravity field. Maybe going for the flash as well. They get the head but pulverized, but can they finish off the damage? That's the question. They finally do with a little bit of a smite there from Shale. They said, look, we tried to give it to you, Crowny, but you just weren't close enough. Yeah, there. Or excuse me, Nuke did teleport back in after shoving out that bot wave. They could have sacked this one and just used his pressure to trade out a turret for it, but instead wanted to contest here. Still going. They're looking for this. BDS, no, they have to
to go for something. Labrov on the backside looking for it. Woody gets caught out. Woody gets assassinated. They kill off one. Junja looks to the guy to get Cataclysm, but he can't get anybody else. Now, can they jump onto Waco? He does have a flash available. Does only need the 90 counter Berlet, but can he get back over the wall? He's flashed forward, and they will get killed down. Nuke picks himself up that kill. He, Silas, they're going to try and maybe murder this Wack Wack right back on top of Caitlyn, and she goes down. They're trading this one back. It's a two for three. Oh, sorry, two for two, I should say. As we look to try and make this fight work, they're a little bit isolated, though, because that Maokai ultimate's doing it work in its own right. New picks up the first kill. They get Maple back over the wall as he gets himself an ultimate stolen away from the Alistair. Now they're turning and burning onto Sheo, who's very tanky, but is he tanky enough to survive against all this damage? The shutdown, but Azir falls at the end of it all. It's a two for three! Right now, gods can bleed, and he's taking a hell of a beating. Oh, teleport coming back in for Nuke. He's going to try and end this one. He's going to look to try and kill off the Caitlyn. One, two, one more. He doesn't even need it. Nuke TPing in with the kill, and BDS, they roar back into life. They will not go quietly into the night, and they will get a game in this best of five. We are headed to game four, BDS rally in this game, finally taking away the Kai'Sa, and it was a hard-fought game, it looked like... He does, does get the hook there on top of the Alistair, who will take a fierce chunk of damage, the Ignite is ticking, one more auto, and Crowny gets first blood, massive move there from BDS all around the pathing. No. no, there's a little bit of a move onto him now. Gets hooked back. Will have the flash that he needed. He's getting stunned up, but do they have the damage afterwards? The ignite goes in. Flash over by Adam. He wants this kill. Needs it to spin to win. Let's Beyblade. Adam picks up the kill. Chops right through. A little bit of damage. A flash available. They jump in. They get the root down. He flashed away. The miasma not down quick enough. Not quite able to get oh, the flash the forward. Petrifying gaze onto Junja, and he finally takes down Aja and Wako. Finally coming in. Nuke on the wrong side of this fight. Jao punching eye on top of this chase, and the Daisy just standing in front of him. You shall not hit anybody, and this is BDS trying to turn up the heat. Yeah, you can feel them just try and get him out. Now a TB coming in. That's going to be Maple on the backside of this one with a hammer smash. A flash forward from Crowney. One more auto attack, and he goes down. Not quite able to get much more out of it, but a two for two at the end of it all. And this game is starting to devolve into scraps. Feeling a little bit like game three right now, where everyone's... Yeah. It's really not worth it. You need to back away. All right, we're going to have a fight. He really wanted that pink ward. Unfortunately for him, he's going to have to probably pay the price for it. Never mind, he's not gone down just yet. And he's got the shielding in from the, uh, the Ivern as well. The slowdown, Junja finally finishes that one off. The Miasma comes in to keep Crowny in a safe position. Junja now moaning away. We'll have the Blast Cone. Very much aware of it, but he didn't know how blood-hungry Adam is. He can smell the victory. He can smell the reverse sweep, and he wants it. He's not done yet. Aja extended in the long lane. The Rylai's slow. Oh, they're looking for it right now. We'll get caught out here. So RPSG. They need to look for a fight. Aja has been spotted on a ward. There is the ultimate from the Maokai trying to get something in. Smite comes in here for Sheo. So they have secured themselves the chem soul. Can they now corral on top of everybody? Maple's dead. Sense, it's but not, but they're looking to try and catch out Labra. PSG know their backs against the walls and they're getting desperate. Maple can't run away. And now Junja will go down as well. They're chasing them all away. Wako cleanses, but a bit too early. They're looking for the big Alice turning them into beef burgers. Finally, Aja TP's in with a three-man counter-strike. Woody just knocks away the AD carry of BDS to try and save his own one. He's going to be able to get him underneath. They're, They're looking for it. Empowered recall. BDS want to send us to a game five, and they want it now. 24 minutes on the clock. You've got the Alistair in, and the Alistair's back dead. Sent to the Shadow Realm. Now, can BDS get these turrets down? That's the question. Maple looking for a little bit of a movement. They will get the ultimate down onto Wacko, who will get back to the safety of his Nexus. Drop back in! No crowny! Shipping everyone away from the carries. Jump onto Junja. And this could be it. Petrifying gaze just slows people down. They get the knockup. Crowny goes golden. They need to kill off the carry of BDS. But he's just been punted away. It's all chaos right now. Shale moving in. Crowny stays alive. And so do BDS. We are going to game five. We are going to silver scrapes.
The reverse sweep is first time if the 4C can make it in after what has been a bit of a curse for them and for the, the first dragon of the game. We know how much BDS love their dragons. There is the Weaver's Wall coming straight out. They're gonna try and jump in, but a knockback from onto Woody means that he goes down. But it's the first blood dragon stolen by BDS as we got the resets coming in maybe for Nuke as Wacko has to flash away straight away as he realizes he can't take this fight. Neither can Junja as he looks to try and trade it back, but Nuke gets himself a double and BDS trade two for one and they get the dragon. Huge contest out of BDS there on the Dragon. A little bit of face check by Crowney. Yeah, from the Talia. Now Kyle Ultimate does stop down Woody and there is one more kill. BDS building back that momentum that they had from game number four. I mean, he needs to kind of rush it right now just because they're not going towards the Dragon. They're actually moving towards the Baron instead. There's the upper hand, but it's on the Junja. Use the Starbreaker, but Adam gets caught back a little bit on the back side of this. Oh. A lot of damage. It's a lot of rocks in the back of the head. Wacko finishes him off, and Adam, which is a little unfortunate, but the idea was there. Now Shao on a little bit of a flank, maybe looking to try and go for something here. Here we go. Labrov goes in. They're going to try and burst out somebody here. The front line cannot stand tall as Aja falls down first. BDS. He knows anyone's coming up here. Don't think he knows that everybody is here. And now he's going to get jumped on, flicked back, CC'd into oblivion. No but he's not got Wako, so he's not getting taken down. The upper hand comes back in. There the Cataclysm is. is down. Finally, the DPS is here, but now Nuke. And a clean recall off here. One is out in Crowny, but the rest are being chased down. Oh, nice punt backwards. The flash in with the Magnet Storm. They're going to jump down onto Adam. Getting out with only one death would be very nice indeed. Aja trying to move forward on top of this. Does get the ultimate down on top of Shale. That's another staggered death timer. As you can see, Crowney was the one to deal with the super minions. Now Labrov trying to just be the hero for his team as he gets taken out. It took too long for them to clear out their waves and it meant the three members of BDS are dead. Three. Labrov does kind of get spotted out a little bit. Now you can see the lightning crash comes down. Junja goes completely hayward. Aja is dead and now the reset can come in. Wacko needs to run away but he's smited down. He has a stopwatch but he's on so little HP. BDS are doing it, BDS are killing them, and BDS will complete it! Quadra kill for Nuke! Be damned your curses, be damned your expectations! BDS are going to Swiss! They've done it, the reverse sweep by BDS! The redemption from falling at the hands of Mad Lions in Spring Split, able to make the main stage of Worlds! There has only been two previous reverse sweeps at Worlds. This will be the third, and it will be the first for LEC. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, and BDS are going to the main stage. The absolute elation.